Hi, this is John Farrell with the Farrell Law Firm. Today, we're gonna to talk about a mistake you shouldn't make with your estate planning, and we're gonna use Charles Dickens as an example. Uh, but first, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and make sure that you hit the like button because every like helps. All right, this is John Farrell with the Farrell Law Firm. Uh, but first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the author of Estate Planning for the Modern Family, and I've also been recently voted one of the top three lawyers here in Cobb County, Georgia, along with the law firm being voted one of the top three law firms here in Cobb County, Georgia. All right, today I wanna to talk to you about a mistake that you shouldn't make, and we're gonna use Charles Dickens as an example. Uh, for those of you who do not know Charles Dickens, he was uh, an English writer and social critic uh, who lived in the 1800s. Uh, many people consider him to be the greatest novelist of the Victorian era. Um, he created many well-known and world-famous characters in his novel, and uh, he uh, really just uh, created some great novels and uh, is really known as a, a great uh, writer. All right, so Charles Dickens, he passed away on June 9th of 1870. Uh, well over a century ago. Um, they ended up having his funeral five days later on June 14th uh, of 1870. Well, he wrote something very interesting in his will, and it related to his funeral. And so I wrote it down just so I could make sure that I could get it word for word, so let me read it out to you. Uh, he put in his will that uh, those who attend my funeral wear no scarf, cloak, black bow, long hat band or other such revolting absurdity. All right, so in his will, he put some directions about his funeral. This is something that you shouldn't do. Uh, the reason you don't do it anymore, it's really because of a practical reason. You know, there were times that people would put things in their will uh, about their funeral, things like, you know, I wanna be buried in a Christ-like manner. Uh, or they want uh, some type of uh, monument put suitable to their current standing in society. Those are the types of things that people used to put in their funeral, uh, in their last will and testament about their funeral. But for a very practical reason, people don't put those types of things in their will. The practical reason is that by the time anybody gets around to reading the will, the funeral is long gone. So for example, in Charles Dickinson's time, uh, they put the funeral, or the funeral was a five days after he passed away. That's not too unusual for the times that we're living in today. Oftentimes the funeral is very soon after the person has passed away, typically just a few days. But with all of the things that are going on, most people do not get out to the will. Sometimes they have, our time, have a hard time even finding the will to see what it says about a funeral. So by the time anybody gets around to reading the will and what people wanted in their will, as far as it goes regarding the funeral, the funeral is long gone. So these types of things that they wanted, uh, for example, Charles Dickens didn't want people to wear certain things to his funeral. That really wouldn't help in today's time because by the time anybody read that, the funeral would have been long gone. And can you imagine someone showing up with a black bow or a long hat band uh, to Charles Dickens' funeral today? Oh, how embarrassing that would be. Well, no, as you can see, this is all just a joke. But don't put funeral instructions in your will because practically speaking, any time that anybody gets around to reading the will, the funeral is long gone. So don't make the mistake that uh, Charles Dickens made today. Wasn't a mistake for his time, but for today, it'd be a mistake to put your funeral instructions in there. You can, but most people aren't gonna read it because they don't get around to reading the will until the funeral is long gone. All right, so that is something that you should not put in your will using Charles Dickens as an example. Uh, but uh, that's all we really have to talk about today. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Again, we put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and make sure that you hit the like button because every like helps.